Today, we're going to talk about methods for layer thickness analysis. We're going to start off with Image Pro Plus and then go into Image Pro, currently version 10. So in Image Pro Plus version 7, the specific tools we're looking for are the measurements tool, and that is located under the measurements tab. And the general scheme is, this is true for anything within Image Pro doing this, is to draw two lines. It can be do straight lines, two poly lines, two auto trace lines. Select the correct um, thickness orientation button. And there's three of them, one for horizontal, one for vertical, and one for everything else. And there are those little three buttons about three quarters of the way down where they look like little ladders. And then select the lines and the data will be generated within the table. Uh, the icon there is the shortcut in the icons ribbon. So this is a live video of showing the operation. And a couple of things to note here. Here I'm going to do an auto trace with the proper prompts. That, so you'll trace two lines. And this actually gets into some of the differences. What happens if it goes right here? It's a nice clean edge. It'll be fine. But as we get into Image Pro itself, Image Pro 10, you'll start seeing some of these differences. Now we select the proper orientation, and this is important in Image Pro Plus, you have to define the orientation about how those lines are. You can select what line is drawn on the image, and here we'll take the average line, you know, the mean distance between those two traces to generate an average thickness. Control click the lines. And then in the data table, again, this is the specific tool and how Image Pro Plus was set up, everything, are self, everything is self-contained tools. And then you can see the data, and then you can export this to Excel. All right. In Image Pro 10, there's a number of benefits just from the new tools and the new um, capability that came on board with Image Pro. Image Pro 10, starting off with Image Pro Premiere. So in addition to having either a horizontal or a vertical layer or we're coming at an angle, we can also do circular layers. So if you have some type of clouding around material or you have, um, you know, a particular wire encased in, in a polyethylene coating, or maybe it's some type of medical device where it has a coating on, you can actually now measure the thickness of these circular layers. Uh, this was always a, a a macro with it, doing this in the Image Pro Plus, and now it's just built into the product. A couple of other things, easy review of measurements. As you saw on the other one, you see a line and you see results. You really don't know how that information is being generated. In Image Pro 10, we can also display a number of sampling lines or sampling points so you can actually see what's being measured. Plus, there's advanced statistics that was not available in Image Pro Plus, looking at standard deviations. In simple editing tools, again, this is another benefit in Image Pro of being able to, if it's a little bit off your trace line, or you draw one and need to tweak it, there's a polygon nudge tool that you can actually move the line around a little bit. You'll see an example. You can backspace by holding the backspace key down. And you can also continue a trace. So if it gets lost someplace and stops, you can click past that point and then continue the trace. Again, this was stuff that was unavailable or features that were unavailable in Image Pro Plus. Again, the same general concept with a little bit of a difference. In this case, we're going to select the measure tab. We're going to draw our two lines. We can manually draw them. We have points going across to auto trace, do two straight lines, depending upon what your sample is. We'll select the, those lines. In the tool is now called incremental distance. And in this example is we'll select the lines. We're going to hide the baseline of those two traces. So we're just measuring those sampling lines that are being used for analyzing layer thickness. And there's also an option about the orientation of your sample. And you'll see that in a second. We have, uh, again, enhanced capabilities of being able to do a wider variety of samples. So let's talk about layer thickness measurement in Image Pro. So in this case, same concept. Here we're in the Measure tab. I'm going to select the Auto Trace Polyline. And from here, again, doing exactly the same operation, 
do an auto trace. One of the nice things you can see, you can generate a thickness so the lines can be thicker, easier to see, easier to visualize, so you have more control over display by using the measure options. And now by selecting these lines, I can control click on them with the select tool, or I can just select all because they only have two. And in the relative group, we have incremental distance. This is where I can set the step size. How often do I want to sample along there? A few options. Again, this allows us to measure a variety of samples and hide the baseline, so I'm not measuring those polylines, my original traces. In the data table, by looking not only the raw data you can see, but I can now also look at the statistics. Not only do I get the mean and, and min and max value, but I can also get the range and the standard deviation, which is even more important to give you an idea about how how even or how um, how uniformly thick that particular layer is. So again, you're getting more information to be able to characterize your material. In this case, this was a um, silicon carbide layer. Um, I think it may have been polycoat. But again, we can now measure the thickness of these particular layers in, um, in more detail. So going back to the editing now, the poly nudge tool. So what happens, and again, this is a complicated sample. We have choices, uh, some parameters in the auto titling stuff to get a, a, be able to deal with samples like this, which we could never do in Image Pro Plus. But in this case, so you need to tweak it a little bit. Hand drawing like this, all we have to do is select that particular trace, select, click on it, make it active. And by right mouse clicking, we can pull up additional tools. This is the poly nudge tool. You'll see it be a red circle. With the wheel mouse, I can expand or expand it or shrink it. And then I can bump my, my line to really fit the contour of that particular layer. Once I'm done, always important to turn it off. So right click, turn it off. And my day and my results have been updated. All right. Something that could never really be done without running a complicated macro and using Euclidean distance maps. So in this case, I want to look at that thickness. So first, because this is a nice clean edge, I can do an auto trace. And then I'm going to do a manual trace around. Pen tablets are very handy for this. Here, I was just using the mouse. But it does really get to demonstrate how to use the poly nudge tool. So again, just manually tracing around. There's a lot of shadows here and a lot of edges and a lot of tool marks. Trying to do an auto trace on that is very difficult because you'd be following those. You can see the dark, dark edges. But to simplify things, if I make a little bit of a mistake, or a little bit error, want to clean it up, I can use the poly nudge tool, update it a little bit, and then we're going to follow the exact same process to measure. In this case, I want to select both of those traces, again using incremental distance, and this time I'm going to use a distance map. Now I can go around that circular feature and now get a thickness. Again, this always used to be a macro within Image Pro Plus. You had to segment it, go through a number of steps. Here, that is now all built into Image Pro 10. Again, we have the same, same type of data where we can get min, mean, and max plus standard deviation.